Thank you for watching today. Fish curry. If you love a village cooking recipe, you will love this fish curry recipe. We're going to start with Sara fish that we've already caught. We also have some very fresh ingredients that we've gotten from the island. Cinnamon, cloves, it's going to be full of flavor. Baraka. Salt, pepper, turmeric powder, fried chili, and coriander, water, garlic, and onions. Capsicum peppers, curry leaves. It's going to be a bit spicy. We're going to start with cleaning our fish. And we're not going to clean them completely. We're just going to take a few of the scales off of the outside. And then we're simply going to cut the fish into small, uh, just pieces. Cut it in half a few times. So there is some prep work, but our village people are very good at this. And just remember that this is primitive cooking. We're going to be cutting this on a real cutting board. This is just made of wood. So there isn't any fancy gadgets. There's no kitchen. Our kitchen is outside. We've laid some banana leaves down on the ground. And this is our prep station. It stays pretty clean. So we're just going to cut it into simple slices just to keep things easy. You will notice that we do have flies here on the island and after the recipe is cooked it will be completely sanitized. But since we are outside it's kind of difficult to control the bugs and our lady has a lot of cutting skills she she does this every day so you have to get good at this on the island this is in Sri Lanka And the climate is very nice. We're going to add some water to let the fish soak. Keep everything fresh. We're just going to trim some of it out just a little bit. Uh, so the bones aren't sticking out. So this has not been deboned. But it's good calcium if you leave the bones in. Next, we're going to use our grinding stone. We're going to put our dry spices first. And this is a primitive way to crush our spices. We're actually going to be making a paste. So we're adding water.
and we're making everything homemade and fresh. As we crush down the spices, it becomes very fine. This is all hand work. This looks like a beautiful paste and full of flavor. So our fish is soaking underneath the banana leaf there. And next comes our prep work. We're going to cut our garlic into slices. and the onion. These ingredients came from our village. And we use a lot of knife work, just a big knife. We'll cut almost anything. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Please feel free to share and subscribe as you're watching. And be sure to check out our other cooking videos. These are so interesting and I, I enjoy watching these as when someone is explaining the recipe. Here's our pepper. We're going to use the whole pepper. I'm going to cut off the stem, but we're going to use everything else. Next come our curry leaves. Gives it a particular taste with the curry leaves. Next we're going to crush the other spices. We do have to do this in a bowl because the, the grinding stone doesn't crush them as well. And if we want a particular type of the seeds, then we can, we can better know how long to crush it. This is all hand work. We don't have any machines here. We don't have electricity. Next we're going to drain off the fish water and hold it. 
And now that the fish has soaked, we're going to be adding our spices. First, we're going to coat the fish with the spices. And we're going to be doing this by hand. There's our paste. Has a beautiful color. We love to cook here. Different types of meat. We're going to let this set. And now we can start our fire pit. We're going to add coconut oil. This is outdoor cooking. We have our big stainless steel pot. And we're going to be adding our onions, our garlic, our curry leaves. And we're going to be frying these up first to incorporate the flavors, kind of the bigger spices, chunks that we have. And we're going to cook this down a bit. And we keep stirring so that it doesn't burn. We're going to put our peppers in. Now we're going to add our fish. And the fish water that the fish were soaking in so that we get some really good flavor and we get a broth. This is a wonderful fish curry recipe. We're going to let this simmer and boil. Looks like it's really has cooked down. Time to take off the stove. Thank you for watching today. Please feel free to like and comment. And please check out our playlist for some other great village cooking recipes. Bye for now.